Hello and welcome to Let's Design A Machines. So today I'm going to design this simple assembly of a flat build drive, which consists of two pulleys, two shafts, and a flat build. After designing this simple assembly, I'm going to make another configuration like this one, and then I'm going to take them both to test using motion, uh, SolidWorks motion. But first, I'm going to start by making the pulley. So our pulley is 750 millimeters diameter. I'm gonna go uh, to features and revolve boss. I'm gonna choose the right plane. I'm gonna draw some axes, horizontal axes. and a vertical axis. So first I'm gonna draw the upper cross section area of this poly and then I'm gonna revolve it about this horizontal axis. Gonna add some dimensions. And this is the radius of our poly. Now I'm going to mirror all these lines. About this vertical axis. You can see that the upper cross section area of this poly is ready to be revolved. I'm going to exit the sketch. And choose the axis of revolution, which is this one. Now the poly is ready. I'm going to uh, make an extruded cut here for the shaft. It has a diameter of 200 millimeters. I'm going to exit the sketch and choose through all. Now the hub is ready. In order for us to tell the uh, direction of rotation of this poly, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a extruded cut here on this face, a small circle. It has a diameter of 100 millimeters, and the distance between the hub and this circle is 250 millimeters. We'll exit the sketch. Make a throw. I'm gonna make an appearance for it by right clicking it. I'm gonna go to appearance and choose part. I'm gonna choose this color. Now the poly is ready. All we have to do is uh, to add a configuration. I'm gonna go to configurations. I'm gonna right click this part. I'm gonna add configuration. I'm gonna call it B. Now we have another configuration. So I'm gonna edit it. All I have to do is um, click it once, and all these dimensions will pop up. I'm gonna change the radius of this poly. So our new poly, uh, poly is 1,000 millimeters diameter, which has a radius of 500 millimeters. I'm going to go to configuration. I'm going to choose specify configurations. I'm going to choose B. I'm going to choose OK. Then I'm going to write 500 millimeters. I'm going to check OK. If I update, I can see the, uh, the change. Now I'm going to change the uh, distance between the hub and this extruded cut. All I have to do is click this extruded cut once, 
and also the dimensions will pop up. I'm going to drag this dimension. Same as I did before, I'm going to click this configuration, I'm going to specify configuration, and choose B. I'm going to change it to 350 millimeters. I'm going to check OK. I'm going to update. If I go to configurations and check, now they, uh, they are different from one another. So I'm going to, but first, I'm going to call this default uh, from default. I'm going to change it from default to A. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go to rename this uh, item, uh, tree item. I'm going to call it A. Now it's ready. I'm going to save this part. I'm going to make a new folder. Call it build drive. This part, I'm going to call it poly. I'm going to make the shafts. I'm going to go to new part. I'm going to choose extrude boss. Choose the front plane. I'm going to draw a circle here. It has 200 millimeters diameter. I'm going to choose the center line, which is the distance between the two shafts. So the distance is 1,700 millimeters. I'm going to make another circle here. It has the same radius, the same diameter. I'm going to exit the sketch. And the thickness of the uh, of these uh, shafts is 15 millimeters. And check OK. Now the shafts are ready. I'm going to save them. Call them shafts. Going to exit. We go to new assembly. Going to enter the two parts. The pulley. And this window asks me to select whether if I want B or A, I'm going to choose A. And those are the two shafts. I'm going to add some mates. So I'm going to add a concentric mate between this face of the shaft and this face of the pulley. And a coincident mate between this face and this face. Now I'm going to enter the other pulley. Same as I did before with the first pulley. I'm going to add some mates. Now, if I want to rotate this, it doesn't rotate. Because this poly is fixed, I'm going to make it float. Now if I want to move this assembly, I can see it's moving. So I'm going to constrain this, uh, this assembly movement by right-clicking the first shaft. I'm going to make it fixed. Now it doesn't go anywhere. The only uh, movement that is left, it is rotational movement. So now I'm going to add the belt. First, I'm going to go to the drop down menu. I'm going to go to insert assembly features. I'm going to go to build chain. Here, I'm going to select my pulleys. I'm going to select this one and this one. And this is the diameter of the selected pulley. If we had different uh, diameters, uh, different pulleys, this diameter window will update accordingly. 
So I'm gonna go to properties, I'm gonna check create build part. Now I'm gonna save the part. I'm gonna call it build drive. Now if I rotate the first body, the other one will correspond to it and rotate as well. So our belt is represented by this single line. I'm going to make a part of it. I'm going to go to belt. Option. I'm going to right click this part. I'm going to go to edit part. I'm going to choose extruded boss and choose this line. In the direction one, I'm going to choose up to surface. I'm going to choose this surface. In the direction two, the same as I did with the direction one, and choose up to surface. I'm going to choose this one. Now, for the thickness of this belt, I'm going to choose 10 features. Here, I can increase the thickness of this belt or decrease it. I'm going to choose 10, mini, uh, 10 millimeters for the thickness. I'm going to exit the edit component. Now we have a part. I'm going to hide this line. Now I'm going to make motion study. I'm going to go to this drop down menu. But first, I'm going to enable this uh, SolidWorks motion so that I'm I will get this option, which is motion analysis. So I'm going to add a motor here on this poly. So, uh, this is the place of the motor. And this is the direction. I want to be uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. So in the motion option, I'm going to choose con constant speed. I'm going to make it uh, 50 RPMs. I'm going to check OK. Now I can run the calculation. I'm going to go to calculate. Now, if I want the result of the velocity of this body, I'm going to go to results. In the select category, I'm going to choose displacement and velocity and acceleration. In the subcategory, I'm going to choose angular velocity. In the result component, I'm going to choose magnitude. And here, I'm going to choose the face of the part that I want to get the result from. Choose this one. I'm going to check OK. And this is the plot of our result. So uh, our angular, angular velocity is uh, displayed by degrees per second. We have a three, 300 degrees per second. So if I convert this, and uh, here is the relationship between the RPMs and degree per second, all we have to do is to divide this degrees per second by six, we have 50 RPMs as a result so as you can see if i edit this feature go back it is the same result as this body so they have the same results so they have the same res uh, velocity and that's uh, due to the fact that they have the same diameter so I'm going to go back to model. I'm going to make another configuration of this assembly. I'm going to go to configurations. I'm going to right click the build drive configurations. I'm going to call this uh, two. So I'm going to go to feature manager design tree. And all I have to do is to, to click this poly and this window will pop up. So I'm going to choose for this configuration. 
I'm going to change it from A to B. I'm going to check OK. And we can see that that simply has changed. I'm going to make another motion study. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to choose create new motion study. I'm going to go down to motion analysis. And the same procedure that I did before, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to go to motor. I'm going to place it here. So the same velocity as I did before. Let's check OK. I'm going to hit calculate. I'm going to go to result. The same procedure as I did before. I choose this face. Check OK. Now we can see that the result has changed from 300 uh, degrees per second to 225 degrees per second. Now the relationship between the two pulleys in speed and diameter is, is uh, explained here. So N represent the speed, our rotational speed of the pulley, and D represent the diameter of the pulley. So if we want the, uh, the speed of uh, pulley B, we use this relation, and we, and we will get this RPM result, which is uh, 37.5 RPMs. If we convert it to degrees per second, we get 225 degrees per second, which is the same result as here. So this is the end of motion study and the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.